Hello. <laughs> this is so strange sitting down to one of these. Well, I sit down to these for streams and stuff, but it's it's weird sitting down for a YouTube video. Especially because there's always a duration in which the other video's done, and it's always like six months, nine months. But here I am again. <laughs> Return. And my hair has changed quite a bit. It's all kind of blondish in a sense. But yeah, I've got a lot to catch up on and probably all of you are wondering what's happened. Um, so let's sit down and talk about what's happened in like a year, maybe, probably. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so where do I begin? I'm trying to think. I've got a new camera. This is what you can see me on right now. It's a Canon. Uh, I use it for photography. I've got back into photography, so I have got some equipment so I can take pretty pictures <laughs> with pretty lenses and stuff like that. Uh, what else have I been up to? So, uh, pandemic hit last year. I think I've spoken to you before then. I think so. Okay, pandemic hit. Pandemic still happening. A new variation has just been told to us. Uh, since then, so I was a community manager for uh, a small indie game company. They were awesome. Um, their game is out now. So if you haven't seen it, please check it out. It's called uh, Cosmos Quick Stop. Um, I am now a marketing director at a different company. Um, this company is called Recombobulator Games and we are working on Space Boat which is an adventure cat game where you get to be a detective and um, they were very kind and let me also have the role for uh, the main character, Domino. So I get to be a space cat and that has been awesome. Um, last year or this year, God, this year has gone so, it feels like this year is like, I can't tell the difference between last year and this year. I'm trying to work out. So in the summer, I got to be in an E3 trailer, my voiceover, which was insane. And I wasn't even there to watch it live because I didn't even realize it was being, someone mentioned it to me. The dev mentioned there was like a showcase and I was like, oh, that's cool. But I didn't realize it was E3. So I completely missed it and had to watch it like later on the broadcast and see it, but it was insane. Um, I've been able to do loads of voice roles since then as well. and that's really picked up quite a lot and it's really cool um i want to try some other roles and oh i completely forgot i'm also in a podcast um like a oh a uh, kind of like an action podcast which is called um i'm in the white vault podcast and i'm also in vast horizon and the white vault podcast um, I'm, I appear in some episodes. I can't talk too much about it, but I'm in some of the episodes, which is awesome because I've got some more IMDB credits as well, which is so cool. So that has been getting bigger. My health has been an up and a down, a struggle, kind of, in a sense, a little bit. Um, okay, so it was going really good. And I have lost some weight in my face. Ignore this. This is just hormones. We're going to ignore that. Um, so, I am at a gym now. And I haven't been able to swim in the last two weeks because I got a tattoo on my side, um, which is really cool. And uh, before that, so I was going really, really well. Then one morning, the doorbell rang. I jumped out of bed because I didn't want to miss the delivery because sometimes they deliver it to someone else or they take it away. So I ran down the stairs half asleep. My foot got caught in the last step um, and it like twisted, fell forwards, opened the door, was almost crying. I took the delivery in. As soon as I closed the door, I kind of fell on the floor. My foot swelled up like a balloon. Um, and then I had to take myself to A&E. So I got a bus, <laughs> walked down to the bus station. Took a bus to the hospital, uh, was there for hours. 
they said it was a really bad sprain and stuff and then that kind of messed up my walking for quite a while and then I gained more weight. It was going really good. It was really good. I was at the 13 area, the 13 zone, which I was like, oh my gosh, I'm finally getting there. And then it, it went back to 14 again. And I was like, oh, not 14 stone again, no! I was doing so well, I was getting down to like, I think I got down to 13.7 and I was like, that's really good, I've lost half a stone and then accidents happen and you're like, fudge. So, um, my foot's getting a lot better. Uh, that was quite a while ago now. It's almost healed, but the thing with sprains is they always are quite weak for quite a while. So, I joined a gym and I'm swimming there because I adore swimming and it's less pressure on the foot and I can just swim and fingers crossed lockdown doesn't happen again because I really love swimming and it's I'm starting to do that like before the tattoo happened I was doing it like uh, four times a week so that's what I'm doing I swim now <laughs> I swim I walk and I've got an exercise bike downstairs so that is still going in a good direction um, Health-wise, I am still on Prozac. Um, I went back on it, uh, I think in the summer, maybe. I went back on to 10. But recently when I've tried to reorder 10s, they keep sending me 20s. I don't know why. Uh, so I'm on 20s uh, for Prozac right now or fluoxetine, fluoxetine, but that's going okay, um, that's kind of the update on that. I'm still on Twitch, I do streams, I've been trying to do a schedule, uh, I've taken last week off and this week though, because I've had to do so many other things, uh, different freelance work, uh, and travel quite a bit. I've been travelling quite a bit actually for like almost four weeks now, back and forwards, back and forwards on a train, um, so... It's messed up my schedule quite a bit and I'm kind of exhausted a little bit, just travelling. But, uh, yeah, schedule, which is good. I've also rebranded to something that felt more me. Um, I know I've done so many rebrands over the years. And people are like, why are you always changing? Um, I've been on the internet quite a long time. I think I've been uh, broadcasting live on the internet since I was 16. And yeah, there will be lots of changes, I think, because... I'm in different places when I make that brand. Uh, like, my first one was Lauren Claire. Then Toxic Valentine, when I was 16. And then Indigo Wolfie, I think. Then Indigo Wolfie. Then Wolfie Law. And now Law Witchy. So. Law, short for Lauren, or how you spell, yeah, you can spell Lauren like Lauren, like L-O-R-E-N. Um, so Lauren, or Law, because I really enjoy the, the law, the supernatural, and then witchy, because I practice and do witchcraft and read tarot and all that and stuff, and I just wanted to fully embrace it. Which, I can show off my tattoo, actually, that reminds me. So I also got a tattoo. Eey! Um... Sorry, let me see if it's going to show on the camera. Probably not. Probably not. There you go. Excuse my... But there you go. There's the tattoo. Ugh! And then this phrase says, Fortune favours the bold. I think at this time, between the pandemic and everything, I have learned to be around my family a lot more. Um been around them since, you know, we could start doing that again, which was really nice. I've learned a lot in the last almost two years since the pandemic. I've lost friends because of differences. Um, I've lost connections with people. Some connections I hated losing. Um, but at the end of the day, you can't... You can't make someone... Um, want to be in a situation where you're in their circle or their friendship and stuff like at the end of the day ultimately that's up to that person if they want you in their life anymore and no matter what you say or no matter how much you show yourself to them it's it won't change that situation so 
because of that I have lost some friendships in the last uh, year and a half and it does hurt ultimately and I don't think you can go on about it too much because the friendships weren't lost out of random occurrence or they randomly were broken. It was due to my actions. Uh, but you get to a place with some people where you've known them a long time, but the older I'm getting, oh dear. <clears throat> As I'm getting a lot older, I realise that it doesn't, it doesn't essentially matter how long you've known somebody. Because... <laughs> you can know someone for 10 years and 20 years and stuff, but... As you progress through life, they take different directions and you take different directions. And you might not see each other anymore much, or... And you might feel like you don't connect anymore, and... The effort to do that connection is no longer there and the friendship does fall at the wayside and sometimes you end up just not fitting in people's lives anymore and you you can't do anything about that like in the past when I was younger I used to try to hold on to situations even if they were bad because you love that person and you kind of love them as a whole. Um, their good traits, their bad traits. But ultimately they don't, they don't feel the same way or they don't see that in you. They don't see you as a whole person. They see you as um, not an accessory, but a placeholder. So it feels like since the pandemic, I've been able to see people that have more just seen me as a placeholder. And that that's okay in a sense, because in your life you do go through having friends that will be there with you for a certain period and a certain time and stuff. So it's not their fault if they want to have me as a placeholder or they want to put me there and then and then that no longer enriches their, enriches their life and stuff. Because at the end of the day, anyone that I have made a connection with, I ultimately, no matter what they decide and stuff, I, I want them to be happy. I want them to get everything they want in life and life is too short and stuff. So even if you love them and you miss them, you have to kind of do it. I don't know, just push forward and stuff. And just know that they've made a choice and they don't want to be a part of your life anymore and that's okay. And the only thing you can possibly do is move forwards or just try to not think about it too much. Because when you dwell on that lost connection, it, it hurts way too much. It hurts to just continuously think about the memories, the, the past, the, the times you spent together and everything and you just have to try your best and just try to not bury it but just try to distract yourself until the memory of them is a lot less and a lot as, is more faded. I've noticed that because like when something bad happens and the connection is like severed they're on your minds um, so I'm talking about friends and stuff and you wanna, you still wanna contact them and say I'm sorry but there gets a point where sorry doesn't, doesn't cut it anymore and you are not meant to be in their life anymore and that's okay so I think that's what I've learned in this journey that everyone's probably gone through, like you probably watching this right now, you've probably gone through similar situations because it's been one hell of like two years and so many things have changed and you've seen people come forwards and people have lost so many people and yeah, that's probably why I've not been around 
YouTube, this channel as much, doing all these videos and updates, because there is so much that has happened that I feel like it's always better just to break it down in one video and then run away again for six months. I will try to make more videos on the Cozy Indie channel and I'll still be on Twitch. But if there's any videos that people want me to make on this channel, talking about anything more personal and or speaking about any topics, I am free to talk about those. <sighs> but yeah, I kind of, in a sense, use this channel as a therapy tool for myself as well. It feels nice to just talk. And I know I'm talking to a camera right now, but it, it feels nice to like just get it out because sometimes it just stays in your chest and you're like, Mm, it's really, really stings. <laughs> or you'll have um, depression creep up and you'll be like, why am I getting depressed? And because you re repression leads to depression. Repression leads to depression? It feels like that. But yeah. Um, so I'll still be around, still making videos. I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah. And that's what it's been like. And I am so kind of blessed with the opportunities that I've had the last year and a half and how much I've progressed in terms of career and health, even though that's always up and down. But um, there's been a lot of good out of it as well. So I hope you're all staying safe and I hope your week goes well. Bye.